Hi, I'm Michelle Beeson with National Plant Services, a Carillon company. We're down here in Southern California to demonstrate our main to house solution for the repair of service laterals. Service laterals are a common source of infiltration and also root problems into our collection systems. And this is because they're really not maintained by anyone. The homeowners don't have the knowledge or tools to maintain the service laterals, and the cities usually don't want to take responsibility. Trenchless lateral lining is an affordable and efficient way to stop this infiltration and stop these root problems because it restores the service laterals to new condition. We first thoroughly clean the main line and lateral to be lined. We next perform a CCTV inspection to observe main line and lateral condition and to determine the precise length of lateral liner to be installed. The lateral lining material is then cut to the required length. Our no VOC epoxy resin and hardener are then weighed and mixed together well with the two paddle mixer. A vacuum port is installed to help pull the resin through the lining material to ensure proper saturation. We then roll the liner to further ensure proper resin impregnation. The end cap is next attached to the end of the lateral liner. The hole in the end allows steam to escape during cure, allowing new hot steam to be continually introduced. The impregnated liner is then placed in an ice bath to delay cure. Excess resin is blotted from the mainline portion to ensure a clean end result. It creates a better bond when it's wrapped around the, the mainline. The launch cable is threaded through the launch tube and then attached to the end cap. The lateral liner is then coated with peanut oil to facilitate the launch process and then pulled to the launch tube using the cable. Right. Pull. This is the mainline portion of the liner and it is secured around the packer. The Pathfinder basket will click into the lateral opening to ensure the packer is Let's in the proper down. position for a successful launch. The launch tube and packer are then lowered down through the manhole and inside the sewer pipeline. Once the packer is in place, the camera on the packer is wiped clean, then the packer is pulled to the lateral to be lined. Keep going, John, keep going, John, keep going, keep going. Let's wipe this in. The operator in the truck controls the packer to line up with the lateral to be lined. The Pathfinder basket will be raised and will lock into place. Air is introduced at approximately 7 psi which inflates the packer and will invert the lateral piece up the lateral. The end cap acts like a plug, so as air is introduced to the lateral, it wants to inflate like a balloon, so the lateral liner will be pulled up the lateral. A crew person holds the cable attached to the end cap, and the cable is marked to correspond to the lateral length. 
Once the cable reaches the mark corresponding to the lateral length, we know we have a successful launch. Steam is next introduced to start the lining cure. The steam will vent through the end cap and go out of the lateral through property cleanouts or plumbing vents. Once the CIPP liner cure is complete, we perform a CCTV inspection to verify and document the successful installation.